Hello, I'm Certified Elder Law Attorney Tammy Weber. One of the most frequent questions we get is, I just lost a loved one, what should I do? Well, I think you should probably grieve, spend some time with your family, at least wait until the funeral services or whatever memorial services are finished, and then you can call and make an appointment. This isn't like on TV, where there's an official reading of the will five minutes after the person passes away in the hospital bed. Once we've waited a little bit of time, you'll come into the office either in person or by Zoom or by telephone. And if you're a client of ours, we'll pull out the original will. And then if not, you would need to bring the original will with you because you need the original will for probate. So that is the next question I hear the most is what is probate and what does that mean? Well, when somebody passes away in Pennsylvania, the will governs the things that are in that person's name alone. So probate is the process of taking the original will, a death certificate, a petition, and the executor to the courthouse in the county where that person passed away. The executor gets sworn in and they say, yes, I will follow the will. And then the court issues what are called short certificates, which is the official proof uh, that that executor is the person that can wrap up the estate. Short certificates are what will be needed to close accounts, for example, in that person's name or to transfer a deed from that person's estate to somebody else. Also part of the probate process is giving notice, two kinds of notice, one to the world essentially, so that's done through a local newspaper and a legal newspaper. And the reason for that is the state protects any creditors. So if your mother had passed away, and she owed a big bill to a contractor, the contractor could come and say, here's the bill, here's the contract, I've only received half of it. You don't have to call and find out everybody, but the notice needs to be in the paper. And this starts a time limit during which any creditors could come forth. The other notice is to the beneficiaries. That has to be done within a certain time. And the executor sends it out, or we do it for the executor, that says, your loved one has passed on, they may have left you something, here's how things go, and here's a copy of the will. Then the executor, what we call marshals, or gets together all of the assets. So if there's real estate, you need to make sure that it's locked, it's still insured, etc. Then we start getting the values of the assets because in Pennsylvania, it's one of the few states in the United States that assesses what's called an inheritance tax. That tax starts at 0% and can go up to 15%. There are four different rates, 0, 4.5, 12, and 15. And it depends upon who's inheriting the asset from the estate. All those things are needed to fill out the Pennsylvania inheritance tax return that's filed with the Department of Revenue. That's to be done within nine months of date of death. And then the Department of Revenue has up to six months to review it. Typically, they take most of that time. So if I hear the question, can we get this done, as many beneficiaries want because they want their check, um, we want it done fast, it may take a little bit more time because it needs to be done correctly. When we get through that whole process, we hear back from the Department of Revenue. There are two ways to end the estate in Pennsylvania because the court does look at these and make sure they're being done timely. The first way is through what we call a family settlement agreement, which is a written document that lists when the person died, who they are, who the beneficiaries are, what the will says, and attaches all the assets in terms of a spreadsheet and any deductions, meaning expenses, and where the proposed distribution is. 
And so if everyone agrees, they all sign the document, they release the executor so they don't later say, oh, my sister didn't give me enough money. So hopefully, in most cases, it can be done in that manner. If the sister's not happy, or she says, no, I'm not gonna file, or we have a creditor that shows up, then we do the more formal route, and that is filing a first and final accounting with the court. So all that information in a little different format is given to the court. The court issues an order and says, okay, executor, I'd like you to let all beneficiaries know that they have until this specific date to file any objections. If objections are not received by that date, then the court signs the order and says, yes, executor, you're okay to distribute everything as said in your document. And that's how the estate would be ended. If you'd like more information, please go to our website, paelderlaw.com.